Hi Pisces and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for September. Thank you so much for joining me today and let's go ahead and get a sense of the messages and energies for you in September. Okay, so let's start with your present or current energy and that is the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is a a very uh, powerful card because it's really about the the wheel and the cycle of life and how life is always ever changing. Um, it's in movement, and this can suggest things are moving within your life. And really, it can be about destiny, fate. Um, uh, that you know, at any time, random events can happen. And in the upright position, this suggests that some good fortune is coming your way, that you know, you're on top of the wheel of fortune right now, and uh, that things are happening and are moving forward and creating opportunities within your life. And with this wheel of fortune, we are crossed by the two of wands. And so wands is uh, a fire sign, and this suggests that you've come to a fork in the road and that you're going to have to be making a decision about something. And so uh, this can often suggest that you want to explore, you want to expand. You know, if you've got the world out there, what's next? But really the twos come down to having to make a decision. And so that decision is... Uh, something that is on your mind. And with that two of wands, in your foundation we have the Hermit. And the Hermit is a card of introspection. So this is a card that is telling you that whatever decisions you need to make, you really need to take some time to contemplate and to have time in solitude to really think about them and to think about where you are and what you want, and maybe look at your past actions. But the Hermit is about maybe taking a break from your social engagements or maybe things that are piling up on you, but really is to go alone and to figure things out for yourself. This is what this card is telling you, and it's gonna help you make decisions in September. In your recent past or in your things behind you, you've had the Three of Swords. So you've had some heartache or something has hurt you where you felt, you know, it's very clear that the swords st are stabbing the heart. So you felt pain and it, it could be from an argument. It could be from somebody being unkind to you. It could be a broken relationship. It could be the loss of love for your career that you're in your heart, you hate what you do. So uh, with this, in your recent past, you've been having some sadness and some pain, and you've had some heartache here. In your crowning energy, we have the Four of Cups. And cups, uh, cups are water sign, and that's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and really this card is about sometimes missing opportunities and feeling uh, almost like uh, that you're just kind of sitting under that tree and you're contemplating that maybe you're not that happy with what you're doing. Maybe you're not happy within the relationship or having the excitement that you had hoped for. You're certainly not happy with the status quo, and you know, when you have your eyes closed and you're sitting under the tree, sometimes you miss opportunities. And here's the hand handing out this cup. But our friend here doesn't even notice it because he's in his own little world. And he's in his own little world because he's not happy. And you're not happy with the status quo. In your near, and what's in front of you or in your future, near future, we have the Lovers, and the Lovers is a Gemini. And this is a card of possibly meeting a serious relationship, romantic. It also could be a great friend, a business partner, a brother or sister, but you know, this is a deep relationship with a deep emotional connection 
where you find each other and you make each, each other's lives better. So with the lovers, it seems that what's going to be coming your way is an opportunity to have this really deep and lasting and beautiful connection to someone else. And uh, interesting because it's looking at this not, you know, missing opportunities is that you want to make sure that you get your head back in the game so that you don't miss the opportunity of someone coming your way, of a possible relationship or deep bond. And often with the lovers, it's uh, it can be serious where you're thinking about decisions like being exclusive, getting married, getting engaged, living together. Where you are right now is the Queen of Swords. So you are in a place where you are thinking you're not thinking with your emotions, you're thinking rationally, and you are um, you are focused on truth and honesty and fairness and objectivity. And, uh, you know, maybe you're applying the sharp blade to the events in your love life that you've had to do a lot of thinking. You know, things are good for you and you have some choices and this Queen of Swords is going to help you make some informed choices in where and how you move forward and what path to take. This Queen of Swords is going to be blunt and frankly, if there are toxic people within your midst, cut them out. Cut them out and let them go because they're not serving your purpose. And you've already been in a place where you've been hurt and feeling some pain and uh, it's time to, to let them go. And, you know, you're doing some deep reflective thinking and introspection and really it may be time to, to just get them out so that you can allow, so that you can allow the lovers to come in, you know, the, poten the potential of a deep loving relationship. In your uh, environment, the page of pentacles in reverse, and the page of pentacles is typically this youthful energy to study, to learn, to, um, you're diligent, hardworking, and this could be that, you know, you're just feeling, you're feeling like you don't feel like putting in the work for right now. It's not exciting to do learning things. It seems like you're more in the, in the, realm of healing and making decisions. And this page of pentacles is in reverse. Um, typically the page of pentacles, it's slow and steady in reverse. It could be that you're tired of this slow approach and you want to get things going. You want to get wherever you're going in terms of relationships and terms of decisions. You just want to get going and move, move on versus thinking and plotting and planning. So interesting. And that Queen of Swords is going to give you the, the basis and the, the objectivity for you to be able to make informed choices. Your hopes and fears, you have the hang, hanging man. The hanging man. And the hanging man is about a new perspective, a new angle a unique, uh, just whatever is unique to you. It's your perspective. And, and often this can suggest that you're kind of hanging out and you are suspended. And maybe you're sacrificing a little bit of what you want in order to get where you're going. But I do, what's coming through to me is it's the new perspective. It's a new way of thinking. It's a new way of approaching your life and what you want to get to lovers and to make decisions is that you're applying a new perspective that's going to ultimately benefit you. This wheel of fortune is positive that things are in movement. Things are you're on top of the wheel right now, and this hanging man is giving you a fresh perspective to be able to move forward and to move away from your broken, from, from your heart, heartache. 
And in your outcome, you have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is a very interesting card because this, again, this is Cups energy and this is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces who may be charging your way. And this is someone who was romantic, who was poetic, who is dreamy, thoughtful, fun to be with. And this could be connected somehow to lovers. Is this King of Cups coming your way? Or this can represent the idea of what you want is that you need someone who's going to be romantic and thoughtful and sensitive and kind and someone who's in touch with your emotions versus, versus someone who isn't. And maybe this is really what in your heart what you want. Um, but this Knight of Cups, again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, it could be someone coming your way who is the qualities that you want in a relationship. So uh, very interesting. And let's just do a quick review. I've got the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Life, of the cycle of events in your life. Sometimes you're on top of the wheel, sometimes you're on the bottom of the wheel. Life is moving quickly and things happen randomly that can affect fate and destiny. You still hold the reins and you're still in charge, but it's certainly the universe sends its signals. And we have the two of wands. Decision making, which way are you gonna go? What path are you gonna take through what portal? Are you gonna stay status quo? Or are you gonna make that decision to move forward, take action and move on? In your foundation, you have introspection, thinking, reflecting on your life, on what you want and where you've been, and hopefully where you're going. And you need this time alone to get a firm grasp of what's in your heart and what's in your head. In your, what's behind you and what you've been dealing with is some sadness, sense of heartache, uh, perhaps a relationship broke up, a job went south or, or became, you know, very unpleasant. This is unpleasantness, this is feeling pain, but the good news is that you're in a position now to heal and this is behind you. And across the way here is the future is the lovers. And the lovers represents the potential for a truly deep connecting emotional experience with someone else. Whether it's romantic, sexual, business wise, a deep, close bonded friend remains to be seen, but it's coming toward you. And what you've been thinking about is really been thinking about um, where you are, you're not happy with the status quo, you're missing opportunities. And, you know, don't miss the opportunities. Get away from the tree, think about what you have, be grateful for what you have, and then the universe is gonna provide you with an opportunity here for, for love, for emotional expansion. Where you are right now is after all of this happening here is you're in a place of clear thinking, rational thinking. You're trying to put your emotions aside and you are ready to look at the facts, to make a plan and to move on. Page of Pentacles in reverse can suggest that you are uh, not interested in studying, not interested in taking your time and planning. You want to move forward. You want things to start happening more quickly than they typically do with the cautious page of pentacles who is a hardworking student, you're ready to move on. What's going to help you with, with first with decisions is the hanging man. New perspective, a new way of thinking to help influence you on making a decision. New way of thinking as you're being introspective and a new way of thinking to help attract the love that you deserve in your life. And in your outcome, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, charming, loving, emotionally tender, poetic, someone who's great company, someone who is thoughtful and empathetic and perhaps this is what the outcome is telling you that you need from this here is that you need some happiness within your heart and with your emotions. So 
This is this part. Let's take a look at my Love Oracle cards to get a sense of what's happening for you. A little bit more information on this love that we found in this reading. Friendliness. You're able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge loved base connections. So spend time with your friends. Be kind. You never know who you're going to meet. You never know at what place. And uh, when you are kind and considerate and friendly, people notice that versus people who are shut down or, or who are frowning. You know, be receptive. Be open to being friends with, with many different people and expand your circle and improve your chance for deep love with the lovers. And finally, I'd like to close the reading with a uh, something to work on, something to think about for September, something to practice for Bridget, inner strength, move back to wholeness, recognize that you have the power. So moving back to wholeness is, again, you move back to wholeness through introspection, through reflecting, through meditating, through spending times looking at your life and the things that you've done and the things that you want. Getting back to wholeness, your inner strength. You have inner strength to deal with these situations that are hurtful and make you feel pain or feel sadness. Inner strength to find a loving and deserving relationship for you. To find that deep emotional connection. And then, Knight of Cups here. Just waiting for love. So... I think that this is a beautiful card and kind of fits right in here. So I hope that you have an awesome September. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, or comment. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's a great way to show support and to stay connected. So uh, I wish you the best in September. I thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I hope you will check back again. Take care. Bye-bye.